Okay, now I'm getting ready to re-roll my material for my second set of 100. We're going to do this three times all told, okay? The first time I wrapped very loosely. Now I'm going to wrap just a, with a little bit, um, a little more tightly. I don't want to have a lot of room to wiggle around. Now I'm starting to get a little bit more serious. So I'm going to tie my fabric in very tightly and we're going to be exerting more pressure as we do our rolls this time. If you haven't worked out in a while, you're going to be feeling this in your arms. And it might take some getting used to, but it's all good. It's a nice form of exercise. Okay, I'm tightly wrapped and now I'm going to assume the position and I'm going to put a little more effort into it this time. So three, four, five, six, and I'll see you when we get to 100. We've done our second series of 100 rolls and now we're going to check the progress. You can see that I'm not even breaking a sweat. It's not very difficult. Um, some people worry that felting is hard. It isn't. I'm already starting to see that my fiber is shrinking, which tells me the felting process is working. And as I pull the fibers off, I'm not running into the same difficulty I was before with them all coming off. Okay, now let's take a close look and we'll run a little pinch test to see how close we are to completion. If you take a look and I try to pull up the fibers, you'll see that when I pull up the wool, it's pulling up the entire piece of fabric. That means that we're actually starting to see some felting going on. Another hint that what's happening um, is the felting is if you look very closely, you'll see some ruching starting to happen as the fabric gathers together. That's all good. Everything is happening just the way we want it to. And you'll see that our material is now the length of the table. It doesn't hang over at all anymore. So we're already seeing about six inches worth of shrinkage. So let's wrap up for one last series of 100 rolls. Um, we're gonna wrap really, really tight and we're gonna put some muscle into it this time. And then we'll have completed the felting phase of this process. Okay. I've wrapped up the roll as tightly, if not tighter, as I did on the second series. And now I'm really going to put some muscle into my 100 rolls. If you'll, if you'll recall, when we first started, I was really gent gentle. I was just trying to gently massage the fibers and get them um, to open up and start locking together. Well, now I know I've got some pretty good felting going on, and so I'm going to put some real muscle into my rolls. At this point, I find if I'm looking at myself um, in the mirror, I would probably not be surprised to see that I've got my tongue hanging out to the left <laughs> as I work really hard to get this thing done. Some of you might start building a sweat now. So let's get this 100 rolls done, and then we're going to be ready to fold. it. Okay, I'm now finishing up my 100 of my third set. So let's come in and see what we've got. Oh, it looks like everything has felted together beautifully. You see there's no sticking as I pull off my tool. That means the fibers have totally separated and melded into my fabric. Okay, but we're not finished yet. We have to do something called fulling, and that's where the fibers really migrate through. You'll see some serious puckering, and um, this is the fun stage. I like to do the fulling. This is where you get to work out your aggression. I'm simply going to gather up my fabric and I'm going to start throwing it onto my bubble wrap. I'm going to do this for about 20 or 30 times. If I get tired, I'll stop and fold a different way. And all I'm doing is massaging the right side of my fabric into the bubble wrap. Okay, I've now changed my fabric entirely and it's been properly fulled, okay, and so that you can see the difference between what we've got now as opposed to what we had when we had just done the 
felting part of our game, I've got two pieces to show you. This is an example. I used the same size fabric. The one on the top has been felted but not fulled. You'll see that the fiber is well attached. It's not going anywhere, although it would if we didn't take it to the next step of fulling. When we look at the, the piece that has been done properly, we've now got some nice ruching going on. And the true telltale sign is when you turn the piece over, you can actually see lots of nice bubbling where the merino has migrated its way through. You do not see the same sort of thing on the piece that has not been fulled. Okay? Now one other little tip for those of you who are going to teach a class like this in your store. Some people find it annoying to be throwing something on the table, their water can go out, soap can go out. An easy way to accomplish the same purpose is to simply get a Ziploc bag, put your material in the Ziploc bag, and that way you're containing your mess. And you'll get the same result. It'll work beautifully. I generally find that when I'm teaching a, a group of women, um, everybody is happier if the water is contained and not flying out everywhere. So it's an easy, no mess way to accomplish the same thing. All right, so now we're gonna make our ribbons or the, the layered portions of our, of our shawl wrap. And I'm simply going to cut straight down. I'm not worried about how straight. Uh, this is a very organic looking project. And frankly, it is very hard to mess up. Um, most of these come out looking beautiful. And with the, the hand dyed um, uh, colorways that we put together, they all match beautifully. Uh, so it's, it really is difficult to mess this up. Okay, so I've got my first ribbon layer. And now I'm gonna get two and three done. And after I do this, you're gonna notice that my edges on the cut edge uh, don't look as, as nice as the, the other edges. They're a little bit too well defined because of the scissor cutting. And so what I'm gonna do is just take the, um, take the piece like this, and once again, rub it into the bubble wrap. That will have the, the um, tendency to soften my edges for me. And when I continue to felt into my main um, wrap piece, they'll soften even more, okay? So now that I've got my ribbons cut, we're gonna move into our, our final completion of our project. 